This is Laura from Traverse Bay Crochet and today we're going to be making a simple shell neck warmer and for this project we're going to be using a bulky weight yarn. You can use either medium worsted weight yarn or bulky weight. I'm going to be using Yarn Bee in Andy's Alpaca in a pearl color and a size H crochet hook. You'll need about five ounces or two skeins um, for using bulky weight yarn and about three ounces, um, usually one skein for medium worsted weight yarn. So let's get started. To begin, we're going to be chaining 90 chains, or however many chains you need to obtain 29 inches in length. So it could be a little more or less depending on your weight of yarn. So now we're going to double crochet into the third chain from the hook. And we're going to double crochet into each chain all the way down the chains we made. And this will be our first row. And I will meet you back for row two. At the end of row one, we're going to chain two, turn our work, and double crochet into each stitch across the row. We're going to repeat row two for a total of 10 rows for bulky weight yarn and a total of 12 rows for medium worsted weight yarn. So now I finished my 10 rows and I fastened off. And now I'm going to fold one side over the other, just like that so it comes at a point here. And what I like to do is just take these ends here and sew through with a blunt needle and fasten right here, right here, and if you would like to, right here. And we're just going to single crochet around the entire piece and come back down the other side. It will be approximately 72 single crochets for bulky weight yarn and 90 for medium worsted weight yarn. That number doesn't need to be exact, it just needs to be a multiple of three for the rounded scallop edging. And a multiple of five for the triangle scallop edging. So for the triangle scallops it'll be approximately 75 single crochets for bulky weight yarn and 90 single crochets for medium worsted weight yarn. So now I've single crocheted around my entire piece here. I'm going to slip stitch to end where I started and chain two. And this will count as one double crochet. We're gonna first begin by doing the rounded scallop edging and then I'll show you how to do the triangular scalloped edging. So for the rounded scallop edging this counts as a double crochet and we're just going to double crochet four more into that same stitch. So we'll have a total of five double crochets there. Now we're going to skip the next stitch and single crochet one into the next and then we're going to skip the next stitch and double crochet five into the next. We're going to skip the next stitch, single crochet into the next, skip the next stitch, and double crochet five into the next.
and as you can see you're getting this rounded scallop border and you just continue in this way all the way around the piece and fasten off when you get all the way to on the other side to the end and uh, weave in your ends. For the triangular border scalloped edging we're going to chain two. This will count as a half double crochet and then we're going to do two double crochet into the next stitch chain two and do two more double crochet into the same stitch and then we're going to half double crochet into the next stitch and then skip your next stitch and slip stitch into the next skip the next stitch and do a half double crochet two double crochet into the next stitch chain two two double crochet into the same stitch and half double crochet into the next you're going to skip the next stitch slip stitch into the next and do a half double crochet into the next stitch two double crochet into the next chain two and two more double crochet into the same stitch and half double crochet into the next okay, we're going to repeat this pattern all the way around for the edging and you'll get this pretty triangular shaped scalloped edging slip stitch in your beginning stitch here when you're finished and fasten off and weave in your ends and there you have your simple shell scalloped neck warmer I hope you enjoyed this pattern I also have the written instructions posted on my blog which I will provide a link for you can adorn your neck warmer with buttons or have you can wear also with the collar up or you can roll it over for a cute look that way as well Please like and subscribe to my channel for more free crochet videos and have a great day.